What if we could change the world? What if this was more than just a dream? What if God is actually calling you and me right now to make it happen? Some can preach. Some are better at dancing. Some are passionate for prayer. Some others have the resources to make all this happen. Jesus died on the cross for one purpose, to save souls. And everything that we do here is wrapped around the cross, salvation, loving people, and giving them their own personal encounter with Jesus Christ. Every homeless person that we feed, every person that we clothe, every young person we hug, every life that's transformed is done for Jesus. Because Jesus, whatever you've done to them, you've done it for me. Our goal is very clear. We want to win and disciple one million souls for Jesus. It sounds very ambitious, but we are a group of missionaries from all around the world that are very passionate. We want to see heaven full and hell empty. We want to plunder hell for the glory of God. And we have three ways that we're going to do this. Number one, a rehabilitation center in Cartagena, Colombia. If you've ever seen the movie, The Sound of Freedom, well, this is the continuation where we take women at risk and their children that are on the streets most of them from Venezuela, and give them an opportunity to have a second chance. And we did amazing events with them, and they saw the power of the gospel. They want to escape this dangerous lifestyle, and we want to give them that opportunity to grow spiritually in their relationship with Christ, a place where they can be discipled, a place where they'll receive physical help and also skill sets that will help them find employment. And by the grace of God, we've already been in communication with the government and they're excited to receive us and to accept this new project. Right now we have currently looking at two properties and we just don't have the finances yet to purchase the properties and to build a beautiful refuge center. We have relief workers, missionaries, and volunteers ready to go for this center, even staff standing by. We just need the finances to make this dream a reality. Number two, Mission Extreme. I'm so excited about this reality TV show that has really two purposes. To wake up the sinners who are sleeping in the darkness and then to wake up the Christians who are sleeping in the light. When you watch this reality TV show, you're gonna see tremendous stories of people getting evangelized. Right now we have contracts with CBS television and when they're watching this show, they're gonna be hearing the gospel fresh. And that after they are encounter Jesus, we're asking them to go to our webpage. When they get there, they have the opportunity to receive Christ because it's a video that leads them to Jesus and then also get involved in Bible studies. We have a discipleship program that will walk them through day by day, daily devotionals, and even a virtual Bible study that they can attend every Friday through Zoom. So we're very hands-on discipleship with them. The second part, the Christians who are watching, they're saying, man, I should be doing what they're doing and they want to get involved. So what do we do? We give them an opportunity to get trained to become a missionary, a soul winner for Jesus. We teach them how to do discipleship in their own communities. We have a four month extreme boot camp that meets once every week virtually by Zoom. We've had people from all over the world participate in this and it's been amazing. People have graduated this boot camp. They have become pastors. Another guy named Abdiel from Panama. He's started up a Bible study now, over 75 people in his Bible study. I mean, this boot camp activates people. We could spend hours, I don't have time to do it here. It's just general synopsis, but people have been lit up for Jesus. This boot camp has teachers from all over the world, people that have won millions from Jesus, the best of the best coming and training men and women who want to learn how to be evangelists and disciplers. Number three, my personal favorite, taking nations for Jesus, winning cities for Christ. In Panama in 2018, we won 2.5%. I know it sounds like unreal, but it's real. 2.5% of an entire nation to Jesus. The suicide rate was the lowest in seven years. The statistics are outstanding. There's more information below on the webpage, but what happened in Panama was amazing. How do we win 2.5% of a nation for Jesus? Unity, prayer, salvation. Number one, we unite thousands of churches in the nation to unite and pray that if we can touch heaven with our prayers, heaven will touch earth. It's amazing when all the churches come together from every denomination and they unite and they pray. Number two, we train every single member from every denomination, from every church in every region of the nation. In Panama, over 40,000 people were trained. We trained them how to do effective evangelism and discipleship. So they go through four day trainings in every region. 
Number three is we actually go out and do the work of evangelism. We get people to leave their church walls and we facilitate and spearhead evangelism throughout the entire nation, predominantly in high schools. We preach the gospel, students are in tears, kids that were suicidal give us their suicide notes, some of them hand in their blades and they say, we were going to end our life, we changed our mind. We try to get involved and just lead them to Jesus and even invite them to our Bible studies on Friday night. So this is what Saves for Christ is all about. We are just passionately trying to win and disciple one million souls. We've given our entire lives for this. Please, we want to encourage you to get involved. Help us. Time is short. Jesus is coming soon. And we want to give everyone an opportunity to have their own encounter with Jesus. Heaven full, hell empty. That's our goal. God bless you. And thanks for visiting our church.